Hi, this is Chris Kellett with 123Muse.com and we're going to take a look at our nap widgets. Now, um, they're part of a set. So what happened was I started building these widgets and then I thought, well, I can do lots of different versions. So I did. So they're all called nap, but they're all different types. So I'm going to drag them all onto the page. And you'll see why we have different ones here. They will all work slightly differently, um, but are great starting points for mobile menus, especially. And easy to change the colors and so on for them. Um, but they're just ideas, really, but they're a good starting point. So let's preview them. Let's see what each one does. So this one here, we click it, and we get this nice horizontal menu popping out um, with these nice big icons. This one here, the same unit, but this is a vertical menu. Uh, this one here is using an accordion. So if we wanted it to be closed when it first loaded up, we'd want to make sure that we've got can close all switched on. We've closed it before we preview. And then what will happen is it'll be closed and we click it and it opens. Now, if there's any other divs, we can see these ones are half over the line here and half over the line here. And we have this one below. We can see that though the ones below will move when the widget opens. So um, you need to make sure that your content is in the right place. Otherwise, if you don't want it to be affected by the opening. But then we have this nice effect here. And we've got these um, these really nice uh, sidebar colorings, these border colorings, and I think that adds a really nice effect. It's very subtle, but nice colors and nice UI. This one, similar, but it's more of a speech bubble kind of thing. Um, very nice little menu there. And then this one is old circles. So that's kind of cool as well. So that's the nap. Um, if we wanted to change the colors, we could do that very easily. If we take a look at our swatches, we can see that those colors are on there. So if we go to swatch options and let's change it to, let's say this nice deep blue here, and we can see that all of our colors have changed here. If we went to swatch options for this, let's change it to a slightly lighter blue here. Um, we should now have a rollover. So yeah, there we go. So very easy to modify and change for um, a color scheme that we're working with. And all of the assets are included in the tutorials area, in the widgets area, sorry. So everything that you need to modify these is there. If you need to change some of the SVGs in Illustrator and so on, change the colors, you can do that. But nice little set of menus to give you some ideas of the different kinds of things you can do with the same compositions to create different effects. Thanks for watching.